Using this single tool I'm about to present to you, you can create e-commerce stores such as this ebook store where you can sell all types of digital products. In this case, we are selling ebooks. Customers can click on any of the products, check out, and then get instant access to their purchase. In addition, this tool is able to create link in bio pages like this one right here, where you can feature multiple links of yours. On top of all that, this tool will also allow you to create portfolio websites, business landing pages, personal websites, and even an NFT gallery where you can showcase your NFTs. Let me show you how. Hey all, it's Aurelius, happy being well. So the very tool you'll need to create the types of web pages that I just shared is a tool called Jimmy. Now Jimmy is an easy and fast way to create web pages without having any knowledge of how to code or build web pages. It prides itself with simplicity and speed. So that way you can focus more on getting sales than working on your web page. So if you're a creator, freelancer or business owner who wants to sell their products or services or even showcase your work, then Jimmy may be just the thing you're looking for. Let's go through this tutorial where I'll show you how to build an e-commerce store from scratch. Signing up is quite self-explanatory. Just click on sign up and sign up away if that even makes sense. Once in, you can create your very first website by clicking on create website. From here, you'll be able to choose what type of website you'd like to build, such as a link in bio page, a portfolio, a business landing page, an online store, personal website, or an NFT gallery. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to focus on an e-commerce store. So that is an online store. By showing you how to create your own online store, you'll be able to sell your products and or services by the end of this tutorial. So we'll go ahead and click on online store. Give your website a name. Since I'll be replicating the website that I created previously, let's just go ahead and name our website the same. So it's self-help ebook store, click on next. Now, if you recall earlier, I did mention we are going to create a website from scratch. But I didn't mean it literally because the good news is with Jemmy, you'll be able to choose a pre-made, pre-designed template from its library. So that's the next step. We can choose between, you know, link in bio, portfolio, but since we're creating an e-commerce store, we'll just check the online store. And here are the templates related relevant to online store. So we do have a number of templates to choose from, but let's go back up because the specific template that I use to create my ebook store right here is this Clara's Candles template. Click the template once and then click on next. Now on the next step, Jimmy will prompt you to pick a plan. You can choose between free, pro, or even business. Let me explain each one. With the free plan, you can very well create your website and you don't need to pay a single thing in terms of monthly costs or web hosting fees, but there is a standard transaction fee of 10%. So that means whenever you sell a product or service of yours, Jimmy will take 10% of it. If you do want that transaction fee reduced, you may want to look into the pro plan, which has a reduced transaction fee of just 4%. Now, if you want zero transaction fee, you may wanna consider the business plan. Now, which plan is right for you will depend on your business and the volume that it's generating in terms of sales. If you're just getting started, have no product or service yet, or if you're just expecting a couple of sales here and there, free may be just for you. Now, if you're expecting a little more sales than pro, may be more appropriate. Whereas if you're expecting a larger volume, business may be for you. Now, bear in mind, there are some other features that you may want to consider, such as the custom domain name with free. You do need to use the Jimmy domain name. So jimmy.so forward slash whatever username you choose. Whereas if you want your own custom domain name, you will need to go on the pro plan, as you can see with this benefit right here. But to begin with, let's just go with free and click on next. Now here we are in the design mode where we can start customizing our web page. On the left sidebar, you've got the navigation specific for this website that you're working on. We'll head back to this section later on, but for now, let's go ahead and customize our web page right away. The first thing you can do is click on edit website. That should bring up the right sidebar where you can change the website name. I'll click on configure and then give this site a name. Below that, you've got logo where you can add your own logo, but it's only available for paid members only. And then you've got layout where you can change the layout of the navigation. You can choose between a button, text, hamburger, or even hide the menu. That's all on this section. Let's move on to website where you can add your own domain name, but you do need a paid account. Also on here, you can customize the website URL. So it'll be jimmy.so forward slash whatever you want here. All right, font. This is where you can customize the header font, body, and also links. 
changing between different fonts as you can see here. Then you've got change template where you can replace the existing template right here. Bear in mind, if you do choose a new template, that will replace the content that you've already added. So it's good if you just wanna play around, have a little preview of each of the templates to see what it looks like. And if you aren't quite you know, ready to use a specific template, go ahead and replace it with a new template. And below that, you've got advanced settings. Feel free to go through this at your own time. What we're going to do now is customize the actual template. Starting with the top header, you can change the heading to whatever you want. Let's say your site name, or it could be a headline. What I've got on my existing website, it's called Improve Your Body, Mind and Spirit. So I'll just copy and paste it right here. If you feel it's not wide enough, you can click on the main block. So somewhere around here, then click on edit layer. This will bring up some more options. We can go and click on something like a medium under desktop content width. That should widen it as you can see. And with this uh, heading now, we can size it the way we want. Let's say that looks good there. All right. That is done. Let's now change the background of the header. So clicking the section of the header right here, we can click on style section and then click on background image, click on update. You can upload your own image if you have one. Otherwise you can browse through the Unsplash library. I'm just going to search for mindfulness, browse through the results. This is the one I chose. So I'll select that again and then click on save. Next, let's add some spacing on this header because I feel it's a little narrow. So we'll click this header once, then we'll go to edit layout. And where it says padding, let's click on advanced. And where it says top, let's choose the amount of pixels that we want. Let's say something like 32, that looks all right. But let's put a little more and put 40. Same with the bottom, just to make things a bit even. All right, so we've got that in place. Let's click close. And that looks good right there. Let's move on now and add our products. The beauty of using Jemmy's templates is the products have already been added for you in this specific template that is. So if we click on any of the products, we can click on it and then click on continue with current template or you can select from an existing product or create from scratch. But let's save time because it's all about efficiency and click on continue with current template. And here we've got the existing product title. Let's change it now. I'm going to name my product habits for success. Right here is where you can add a product description, but I won't use any in this demo. Pricing, let's price it at $20, that's fine. If you wanna give your product away for free, select free, otherwise choose paid. And let's say $20 again here. And then there's an option to turn on flexible pricing. So that way your customers will be able to pay more than the price listed. So this gives a way for your customers to pay more than the minimum price that you set right here. Below pricing, you've got cover photo. So have your product or service image ready. Click on change image. I'm going to upload my habits for success ebook cover right here. Now that it's uploaded, let's go below where it says advanced settings. So where it says downloadable item, this is where you upload the actual zip file, PDF file or whatever file it is that you want your customers to be able to download. So click on edit, click on add file. So that's where you add it. There's also an option to set limited quantity. So if you only have like 50 copies of your product, then add it right here. You also have an option to add an automated response where you can thank the customer and then add further details below here. Once you're done, click on save product and that should update right there. What I'll do now is add the rest of the products and then we'll continue from there. Oh, and by the way, if you go back to the top, you'll be able to select the type of product you are selling an event, physical product, digital item or other. So if you select physical product, users will be shown a field asking for their mailing address. So if you're just selling a digital product, select digital item. While I'm in the process of adding my products, I wanna point out a few other options. So if you click on any of your products, you can click on customize, click on switch style where it says configure. And then you're given a few more options in terms of styles, such as this particular layout with the purchase button or browsing through some of these other ones and selecting it. All right, I've added all my products. You might also wanna customize the columns. Let's say you wanna add a product to the right of this third one here. You can simply hover over to the actual column right here and then click on add. 
that'll add a new column where you can add a new item. On the contrary, you can remove a column by simply selecting the actual column and then clicking on the delete column button. From here, you can adjust the size and the width of these columns. So we'll click that and let's shift it to the right like so, and now it's more even. In addition, you can duplicate a block by selecting the block, then clicking on duplicate. That should make a copy. And now it is down below right here. Another thing you can do is add blocks. So within a section, you've got these blocks. And right here is where you can add specific things. So if you click on add, that'll bring up these blocks that you can add to the specific row or column. You've got basic blocks here, embeds such as music and other media, commerce and advanced blocks here. Let's say you wanna add a bio, click that once, that should bring up these settings. Customize your settings, adding your social media handles and click on save. And now it's added here. If you wanna add other blocks, simply click on the plus sign once again and then selecting any of the blocks. Let's go ahead and add a section. What I wanna show you is how to add a newsletter sign-up form. So you can see with this demo, we've got this subscribe to our newsletter form. Let's go ahead and add that. I didn't create this from scratch. In fact, it was from one of these sections. If you click on newsletter, and this is the one I used, click that once. However, you are given a number of choices here. Let's click this, that will add it instantly. And here is the form. In terms of this form, is it even functional? Well, if you add an email address, subscribe, what happens then is if you go to this hamburger menu, click on community, and then go to followers, you'll be able to see all your newsletter subscribers. All right, so that's that. We've added a newsletter sign-up form. We do not need the one below it, so let's go ahead and delete this section. That's gone. Let's add a new section, but this time let's add a footer. Click on add section. Let's look for footer and choose from a number of these options. So we've got this one right here with some social media links. That looks good. Click that once, and now that's added. We can also change the background so that it looks different and you can distinguish between the different sections. So at the footer right here, we'll click that once, click on style section, click on background color. And from here, let's choose a gray or light gray color. That looks good. Let's click on save now. And now that's updated. All right, let's go to the very top so that we can preview our web page and see how it looks like. We can click on done editing first. And from here, there's a little preview icon. Click that once. Now you'll be able to see your website in preview mode without all the editing functions. And at the top right, you'll see the different views that you can choose from, from desktop to tablet. Now you've got mobile devices. If you scroll down, this is what it looks like on mobile. Looks pretty good. And next, what we're going to do is add a page because if you have multiple pages or you want multiple pages on your website, this is how you go about doing it. On the right, you'll see pages. Click on add item. We're going to add a page. The page has been created and it's just called untitled. We can go and click on settings, rename the page to whatever page title we want. Let's say it's the about page. So we'll click on about, click on save. If you look on the top right here, we've got home and about. This navigation appears after you've added a new page. If it's just a single page, this navigation bar does not appear. But here we are on the about page. The first step I would take is to click on add section. And let's go ahead and choose something like this one right here. Click that once. Now it's added. I can simply edit this to about us and then add my own about text right here. I'll go ahead and paste my existing one. Now I've just repeated this just for the sake of this demo so that it fills a bit more of the room. Looking at the header, you can add a heading such as about. So from here we can add text. So click text once if you look on the editor. Now I can start typing. I'll put in about us. It's not quite visible. That's because we need to change the styling to something like header one. There we go. Let's also center it and we're done. Feel free to add anything else on your page by clicking on add section. Let's say you wanna add another newsletter form, click that, click the newsletter form of your choice, and there we go. To switch between the pages that you wanna edit, click on pages and then select the page that you want to edit and design. So let's click on home and now we're back to the home page. Now, before you tell the whole world about your new and exciting website, 
you want to make sure that you configure a couple more settings. So look on the left navigation sidebar. If you don't see it, you may be in the design mode. So make sure you go and click on the hamburger navigation option right there, then to commerce and then to earnings. And if you haven't configured yet, you'll see you haven't linked a payout account yet. So either connect your debit or bank account, which is linked to Stripe, or you can connect your existing PayPal account. And while we're on this page, you'll be able to view your order earnings as well as membership earnings. And by the way, with Jemmy, you're also able to sell memberships too. So if you look here, you can see my membership and creating your very own subscription-based membership by filling these details and then featuring it on your webpage. And at any time, if you run into any issues, you can contact their support or join their friendly Discord community. So as you saw, in a matter of minutes, we created a fully functional website with zero code. We created an e-commerce store where we can feature and sell our products and services. Customers can click on any of the products and purchase right away. All right, that about wraps up this video. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. Link to Jemmy will be in the description box below so you can sign up for free and build your first website. In the meantime, do take care and I'll see you in the next one.